Former President Donald Trump referred to people who have been imprisoned for the January 6, 2021, attack on the U.S. Capitol as hostages during a campaign rally on Thursday, his latest move to embrace his supporters involved in the riot. At the beginning of the rally in Houston, Trump stood saluting as a song in which Trump collaborated with men known as the J6 Prison Choir who were incarcerated for their role in the attack was played to his supporters in attendance. The riot was an attempt to overturn Trump's election loss to Democratic President Joe Biden, which the frontrunner for the 2024 Republican nomination continues to falsely claim was the result of widespread fraud. I call them the J6 hostages, not prisoners. I call them the hostages, what's happened. And it's a shame. And, you know, they did that, and they asked me whether or not I would partake and do the beautiful words. And I said, yes, I would. And you saw the spirit. The, uh, the spirit was incredible. And when that came out, it went to the number one song. It was beating everybody. It beat uh, Taylor Swift. Cyrus, who was number one and two, they were number a little gathering to talk about drilling and things like that. And uh, this small little gathering turned. If Biden gets his way, the United States will be reduced to an impoverished third world, crippled blackouts. We're going to have crippling blackouts. We're going to have people literally begging our enemies for mercy. We're losing all of our power with what they're doing. It's crazy. It's crazy. So Biden's Crooked Joe's Green New Energy calamity is one of the biggest factors causing, as you know, the inflation disaster, which is about the worst we've ever had. So we're going to create millions of new jobs, and we're setting the ambitious goal of achieving the absolute lowest cost for energy and electricity. We're going to rebuild our grid system. We're going to do things that nobody's ever thought possible. And we're going to do them fast. It's going to get done very fast. And this place and this state, but this particular place, but this state will be one of the big beneficiaries. I can tell you that. You have a lot of states will benefit, but this will be one of the big. And we've seen under the Biden administration, energy security is really it's national security. Think of it. Energy security is national security. That's what it is. And we don't have national security now. We're like a bunch of very dumb people that have like a rudderless ship. If you don't have energy and if you don't have borders and if you don't have fair elections, you don't have a country. You don't have a country. And we're close. We're close to we're close to having no country.